All right, doing this problem called course schedule. Let's have a look. There are a total of num courses you have to take labeled from 0 to num courses minus 1. You are given an array prerequisites where prerequisites of i equals to a i b i indicates that you must take course b i first if you want to take course a i. Okay. For example, the pair 0 1 indicates that to take course 0, you have to first take course 1. Okay. It isn't true if you can finish all courses. So let's look at an example. 1, 0. Uh, there are two courses to take. To take 1, you have had finished 0, so it is possible. Num courses is 2, prerequisites 1, 0, 0, 1. There are total of two courses to take. To take course 1, you should have finished course 0. And to take course 0, you should have finished course 1. So it is impossible. So essentially, you build a graph out of the dependencies. And in that dependency graph, if there is a cycle, then it's impossible. As simple as that, right? So, so I think no need to whiteboard, just just uh, build the graph and uh, there's one prob like there's one smite small uh, like the, what they have said is AI BI indicates there there is an edge from BI to AI. So like this is it's slightly weird. Like typically if this is there, then I would just make an edge from A to B, but here you will make an edge from B to A to sort of indicate that first B, first do B and then do A. So, so basically AI BI indicates that uh, first do B and then only then you can take course A, right? So that's something that we have to handle. But other than that, all good. So let's quickly, uh, let's quickly build an adjacency list representation of this graph. So there are a number of courses is n. So we go a list of list of does the courses start from 0 to n minus 1? They do. All good. So list of list of courses, let's call it such a sense list equals to new a list and now for int i equals to 0, it's less than n, i plus plus, add an empty adjacency list for all. So, since list dot add, all right, now let's go through this prerequisite. So, for each int, let's call dependency. So, each dependency d in prerequisites. Create a directed graph, so adjacency list dot uh, get of d of from d of one, like we will we'll, um, check here, right? So in d of one, add d of zero. That's the uh, dependency. Now the directed graph is built. Now the problem is as specific as hey, is there an edge in this directed graph? So we'll do if has or just return not has cycle, right? So return not has cycle. It does not have cycle. And for that, okay. Might want to check something, which is um, there might be multiple. Uh, like the graph might not be connected, right? Hmm. Let's quickly use a whiteboard here. So let's say there are different. Uh, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say there are six different courses. And really the dependencies are only so let's say there is this 0, 1, 2, and then there is uh, three points, like for five, you need to be able to do both three and four. Let's say, let's say these are the only dependencies. So essentially the entire graph is not connected, right? So given that the entire graph is not connected, you might have to, uh, like it's possible that 0, 1, 2 is all good, but there might be a cycle here. 
right that could be another case so you have to look at each and every uh, component within the graph so if you have not visited something then you have to uh, visit it okay coming back to code so in that case i just can't do has cycle i'm going to have to do like uh let me let's use a visited array so boolean equals to new boolean of size n or num courses so okay and initialize all to false now i'm going to do for int i equals to zero i less than num courses i plus plus if there is a uh, first of all if it's not visited so if not visited then i'm going to check uh, if it has cycle so has cycle you call with the uh, the adsense list and you pass in the index and you pass in the visited array right these are the three things if it has a cycle then you will return can finish as false if no cycles were found then eventually you will return true so now problem is reduced to problem is now reduced to finding if there is a cycle so boolean has cycle you take in the adjacency list uh, index and you take the boolean array visited all right and now we have to check if there is a cycle so you also need to maintain like an in path array so let's also define that as well I'm trying to confirm if both visited and in current path are needed or not. So one, two, and then three, and then four. Yeah, they are needed, right? Because otherwise uh, I'll keep uh, visiting again and again. Like, how do I how do I ensure that I don't need to like this connected component has been has been completed? Yeah, makes sense. So if it is in current path then there is a cycle 
return true otherwise if it is visited already this is where I'm slightly confused but yeah if it is visited already then there is no problem uh, then just return false no cycle in this path Oh yeah, it is possible, right? So four and then two, something like that. This would not be considered a cycle, but you would consider to as visited already, and which would be fine. Yeah, it's definitely needed. So I, I let me quickly show what I was writing. So I was considering, uh, let me fix it up. So I was considering this example, right? So if I start traversing from one, so because it's a directory graph, so I will go from one to two, two to three, three to, let's say six. Now all of these are visited. Two is visited, three is visited, six is visited. But there is other path from one to four to two, right? Now this is not a cycle because this is a directed graph. So one, four, two, three is fine. and and in that case, uh, two won't be my two won't be in my in path, but two is visited. So once I go from one four four to two, after that I don't need to uh, check this again, right? All right. Uh, going back to code. So yeah, if it is visited, if done false, all good. Otherwise. I'm gonna go through, yeah, so I, I, otherwise, okay, in current path of i equals to true, visited of i equals to true, and at the end, you're going to return, if no issue occurs, you're going to say there were no cycles, and you are going to remove yourself from current path. And now here is what you're going to uh, do. So for each int, call it neighbor in the adjacency list of, uh, okay, wherever, everywhere I've used i, right? So let's change this to i. So for each neighbor, I'm gonna go if a cycle, so adjacency list i, not I here, neighbor, and visited and in current path. So for each neighbor, if it is a cycle, I am going to return false. Sorry, I, yes, there is a cycle. I'm going to return true. All right, let's run the code. Okay, submit. And it's accepted. All right. 